Hi everyone, it has been a busy week. We built a chicken coop for our customer. The preparation, we started with the cutting of boards so that it would be easy. And of course we used the, as you can see, the quality of our materials being used, especially for the base of the coop. Next step, the building of the hen house. The size is four by four. Features are one window, automatic door for the chickens, three nesting boxes. So there will be plenty of room for the chickens and ideally there are four chickens that would fit per nesting box. The hen house has four kinds of wall. We started with the chicken door wall, the window wall, the nesting boxes wall, and the hen house door wall. As you can see, the steps are just repeat done cutting measuring cutting again it's pretty much the same it's just that there are some measurements that you have to do for the nesting box for the window for the door and other stuff we make sure that the edges are smooth using drill to make holes and cut it Then we started putting the walls all together to make the hen house. Fun thing of this is that there was no pressure as to when the time to finish it. Plus, I learned it some or a little by helping my husband with little things like painting, um, handing him the tools, making sure batteries are charged. I'm observing him and what he's doing. He's doing all the lifting and all that stuff and all that cutting and all that splinters. I do have some splinters. But what I did was try to help him check if it's aligned or not. Um, just little things that I can do. I tried to do some um, heavy lifting like um, carry the shingles but it didn't do good to me and so I won't do it anymore. Finally the hen house is done. The next videos are for the run walls. Building them we used number one treated lumber, pressure treated lumber uh, for long lasting durability that will last for up to like 30 years. Then uh, we use chicken cloth, of course, because it's for the chickens instead of wood panels. Cutting the wires was easy because he has this cutter that you just have to plug and then cut easily. We use tables to put them together. So we assemble the doors or the walls and the large door and the end wall after making sure that everything is um, uh, not so perfect but balanced and aligned. So we have to make sure that the wood panels or the wood, the treated wood are still not wet because it affects your um, measurement and the alignment of your coop or of your building. Just use hammer or anything that you can use to align them. Then we did the roof. As you can see that the roof is pretty nice. 
the overhangs, attach the window, finish the hen house with the nesting box. So this is how we made our nesting boxes. This is our daughter. She's painting while we were working her homeschool stuff. Now installing for the chicken run automatic door for the chickens. As you can see, we are attaching the nesting boxes to the hen house, finishing the roof with the shingles using the roofing nails. Finally, the coop is done. At this point, we were ready to deliver it to the customer. And we are using, as you can see, the easy mover to move this building out from the barn. And look at this coop. It's prettier outside. You can see that side. There's the door for the hen house, the chicken box. the window and the run wall. Let me give you a tour inside the hen house. You can see three hen or nesting boxes. The window, the run for the chicken. Look at that floor. This is the chicken run, the door lock. We have the brace for the door. It took us about maybe an hour to finally deliver it to the customer from the time we took it out from the barn because Jay had to think on how to properly or safely drive it around along the road without killing somebody of course and uh, what he did is screwed some screws to the trailer from the base of the coop it's not over yet because we were not able to unload it in the customer's house right away. Gladly, the customer was helping him to do all those things. They were like buddies. So this is it, our finished chicken coop. I don't have the video here where the roost bar is installed but it's already in that chicken house and uh, we installed also the the stairs for the chicken that's it guys thank you for watching it was fun building a chicken coop